What's going on guys, it's Snoop603 from Shoosty Bang, and today I wanted to take a minute to go over the different grips in Battlefield 4 and explain the differences between them all. Now the grips in Battlefield 4 are actually very greatly from what we had in Battlefield 3. Not only do we have 6 different grips to choose from, but not all of them do the same thing. What you end up with is 6 different grips, but only 3 variations in what they do. So you have 2 to choose from that will do the same thing. In this video, I'm going to break down what each one does and what kind of playstyle each one is best suited for. This is something I actually saw a comment for several times in many videos asking for an explanation to kind of break it down in layman's terms that anyone can understand, so I'm going to do the best that I can. The ergo and vertical grip are both designed for the running gunner who prefers to fire on the move at all times. When you fire on the move in Battlefield 4, you get a spread penalty added to your gun's accuracy. This means that you're less accurate when firing on the move than you would be if you fired while stationary, regardless of if you're hip firing or aiming down sights. Both of these grips help to counter that by decreasing the added penalty by 50% for both your mobile and stationary spread. However, you only benefit from that spread decrease when you're firing on the move. The moment you stand still to fire, you lose the benefit that these grips give you. The potato and stubby grips help to improve your accuracy by reducing the spread of your bullets in two ways. First, it decreases the incremental spread of your weapon by 15%, either while aiming down sights or hip firing. In layman's terms, and as I interpret it, when you're firing full auto, your bullets don't go in the same spot every time due to the recoil. Each gun has its own spread pattern of where those bullets can end up when firing full auto. With each bullet fired, the spread grows incrementally by a set amount. These grips will help to minimize that spread growth just a little bit, so the gun or your aim will travel away from what you were aiming at just a little bit slower than it would without either grip. Second, both grips decrease the maximum spread of your gun while aiming down sights by 33%, either while moving or stationary. For example, if you stood and fired at a wall with no attachments, full auto until you ran your gun dry, then did the same thing with either of these grips, the bullet pattern with the grips would be a little tighter, and more importantly, more accurate to the exact point that you're aiming at. Both of these grips are a good choice for players that like to fire full auto when engaging enemies. The angled and folding grip are both designed to improve the stability of your gun by reducing the first shot recoil by 33%. These grips are really helpful for those that prefer to burst fire when engaging an enemy. Burst firing allows you to be very accurate while conserving ammo, but the downside to it is that with every burst fire, you would normally have to deal with a first shot multiplier. With every burst, you would be experiencing the max recoil of whatever gun it is that you're using. Either the angled or folding grip reduces that by one third, which is actually pretty significant, and will allow you to be more accurate with your burst fire. Really though, these grips help quite a bit even if you prefer to fire full auto at times, as having a reduction in the first shot recoil helps out in all scenarios. I find these two grips to be the most helpful out of all of them as they're helpful in most situations. Alright guys, it's going to wrap up this video going over the grips. It was really quick, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that at least some of you found it very helpful, and I'd appreciate it if you could return the favor by subscribing if you're not already, and liking and sharing the video as well. If there's anything else that you'd like for me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. I also want to thank Simthick.com for providing the information that I used to make this video. You can find a link to their channel in the description below. Thanks everyone for the support, and catch you in the next video.